Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. I've got a gift request, but oh, first I gotta say. All right, so I found this thing in my closet. I used to wear this thing quite a bit. I have good friends of mine in West Virginia, and they're huge Mountaineer fans. And Jeff Cather made a comment about a week ago when I wore this that these are Michigan colors. And no offense, but I would not wear Michigan colors because I'm a Rutgers guy. We're in the Big Ten. They kick our asses in football all the time, although we did beat them once. But in any case, that's just the nature of sports. But it was bought in honor of my friends who are Mountaineer fans. So there you go. But I am doing a gift request. It's Randy Travis and George Jones, a few old country boys around. And it was uh, Montauk Ed made a gift to the channel to me for me to do this one. So Montauk Ed, thank you for this, my friend. Let's just see what we've got. I know this is going to be a good one. And in case you're new to the channel, he just, I don't know, he just gets me. Like, the requests he makes get me just in a whole different space of commentary. Let's see if this does that. Randy and George, what a combination. Not too many years ago, when dreams weren't coming true. I'd reach for inspiration Sometimes it would be you I'd hear you on the radio I sure didn't like your sound Say it's good to know there's still a Boys around. Oh, this is good. From the smoke, it's hard to tell what's coming down the line. We heard you were a fast train coming out of Carolina. We wondered what you were hauling. When you rolled into town All right. Say it's good to know there's still a few Old country boys around You must have felt that same old feeling More than once or twice Guitars pressed against our hearts Under the neon lights I've got to say that feeling Is the best that I have found Lord, it's good to know There's still a few Old country boys There's a lot of truth, you know, in our kind of songs about the life you're living and how love's done you wrong. As long as there a jukebox and a honky talk in town it's good to know there's still a few old country boys around it's good to know there's still a few Country boys around. Who are they talking about coming out of Carolina? Um, man, did I like this song. It was open-ended. 
And if there were references in there specifically to some, I'm not sure what they were. And maybe it was designed for that. Maybe it's just designed to be open-ended. Not talking about a specific person, but just the concept of staying country. And not just country music, but country people. Uh, country lifestyle, country mindset, country heart, all that. But man... George and Randy just singing together, uh, it's incredible. I mean, their voices are just, well, were just. I mean, Randy, obviously, he, you know, physical issues now, and George passed. But, man, when they combine together on a track, on a song, <laughs> you get this. Like, just the simple reference, you know, the jukebox, you know, and then the train, and what's a guy hauling, what's he got, you know, and it's good to know there are old country, there's some old country boys around, and what do you say, like, I, I thought maybe Randy was going to make this an ode to George Jones, because, like, the songs that he hears on the radio, I'm thinking, oh, Randy is paying homage to George Jones, and then he got George Jones to be on the track, and I'm like, oh, this is good. That's not really the direction they went in on this. This was just Randy and George both singing the same concept, singing from the same vantage point of just being happy. They're old country boys around, but in the end, just the jukebox. Got to have the country songs on the jukebox, and anybody who presses a country, you know, pays for a country song there. There's some old country boys around, but the people singing those songs are what they're really I guess, uh, extolling the virtue of. So, um, wow. Ed, yeah, this is a good one. And, I mean, your your music tastes are so, like, eclectic in the sense of, well, you true country, of course, but some of them are, like, these brand-new artists, you know, that seem to be, like, you know, 18 years old or something, on up to songs like this. And it's just gorgeous. So... All right, I got to rate this song, and the number that popped into my head immediately was a 10. I mean, the instrumentation in this, I mean, you had the piano, you had the steel, of course, you had the stringed instruments, nothing over the top. The bass was a traditional bass line, just nothing going on, you know, in the sense of taking over. It was just there to support the rest of the song. And that's my view of bass anyway. Generally, sometimes bass is more prominent and it just sort of gets your heart rate going and it's designed for that and all that. But this was just there to be underneath so everything else could come down on top of it. So yeah, nice going, Montauk Head. Thank you. Thank you for this gift, my friend. I'm just smiling because I love this. I love Randy's voice. Everybody loves Randy's voice. He's a, he does a certain thing with it where it just goes a little deeper at certain moments. And you're like, oh, like nobody else does it quite like that. And then you've got George, who's got this silky, smooth, just you can relate to it voice when he sings. So, all right, folks, hope you enjoyed that. You can thank Montauk Ed for this one. That was a beauty. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video and keep rocking the country. Yeah.